Okay, so these wires right here, uh, we're going to need them to be able to reach up here. And the way that we're going to do that is if it's wrapped around the shaft, we're going to take it off of that. And rather than just pulling it straight, that actually doesn't really work too well. Um, it ends up leaving a kink in the wire, and that kink can later break. So we're going to unravel the any loop like this that might have been around the shaft. So I'm going to unravel it to make it straight. See? There. Much better. And then to make it go reach the breadboard on top, we're going to go through. Uh, I can see this hole right here. This hole right there um, is pretty close to the breadboard. So I'm going to go, I'm going to take these two wires and go through that hole. One, two, and then I'm going to see it's poking out a little bit. I'm going to grab and pull. And maybe if I go from this angle, you can see it best. Um, you can see from both sides what's going on. I'm going to pull and feed through at the same time until I get all the wire through that hole and there now it can definitely reach the circuit over here this black thing and uh, I guess for good measure I'll do it on this one too so I'm gonna find a hole that's pretty close uh, it looks like there's a sliver of a hole right there I'm gonna see if I can go through that sliver of a hole yes I got it so I'm gonna go through that sliver of a hole and I'll turn it this way so you can see both sides Fishing it through and pulling it through at the same time. Oh, uh oh. Oh no, it's not going through. There we go, got it. Okay. It's a little bit of trouble, a little bit of effort. All right, now all four wires from the motors can reach this black thing.